from the team that brought you World of Tanks. Become a Special Forces Operator. Support standing by. Zone под контролем. Gather your team. Develop tactics. Use unique abilities. In covert ops. And fight other players. Learn more about Caliber. Sign up at playcaliber.eu. Our UAV recon is
Sure hope you guys are gonna join us. Cause this party has started! You guys should really swing by. here killed the last of our booze, along with the rest of the base. Твоей помощи. Меня всегда поражала наивность смертных. Ничтожество. Вы ни на что не способны без своей королевы. Иным из нас предстоит смирить внутренних демонов. Убейте ее, мои слуги. Welcome to the Repopulation, a sci-fi themed sandbox MMORPG. The Repopulation is a throwback to social aspects and sandbox driven gameplay, resulting in the success of titles such as Star Wars Galaxies and Ultima Online, along with a marriage of innovations and a unique array of our very own gameplay wrinkles. Our unique driving force is choice. Control your gameplay in RPG or simulated shooter fashion. Advance via peaceful means or combat. Craft and harvest without being forced into combat. Participate in glorious player versus player combat. Or avoid it via thief, politician, architect, tamer, crafter, or an entertainer. Whether you're the hero or villain of your story, there's a role for you. Our story persuades you to explore all of planet Rylden. This seamless, persistent world welcomes you with both lush and harsh landscapes. 
harvest usable resources from creatures and the environment. Though be wary, the indigenous life forms vary in hostility. Enjoy this and more in a world that utilizes very little instancing. Experience combat in a gratifying variety of flavors. Tailor your skill set with the freedom of no levels or classes. Enjoy action mode as it emulates a shooter while maintaining RPG mechanics or immerse yourself in a traditional RPG mode. Additional twists such as energy shielding, cover, postures and openings create entertaining and strategic combat situations. Harvesting more your forte? Submerse yourself within a crafting community that promotes mutual trade and gain. Our resource-rich world invites you to leave your comfort zones. Bring your friends. The bounty is worth the risk. Our robust crafting system will help you bring your story to life. Claim your own piece of Royalden by constructing homes and cities. Make sure to fill your new home with props and vendors. Then invite your friends over. Entertain them with your amazing music, dance, and storytelling skills. Don't forget to introduce them to your very own genetic engineered or robotic pets. We are at war. Which path will you choose? Diplomacy and trade? Or will you brave the war front between the opposing factions? Two core factions await your arrival. Prefer a faction with more flexibility? The rogue faction welcomes you to build your own nation and alliances. No more arguing over PvE or PvP. We cater to both playstyles. Bountiful opportunities await you and your companions. Our advanced mission system offers a variety of simple and complex missions. Feeling adventurous? Venture into the contested zones for the PvE and stay for the PvP. In a world so full of choices, why not enjoy full control of your appearance with our fitting system? Enjoy displaying personal style while maintaining the flexibility to choose your stats. Design and play your character on your terms by learning from over 75 different skills. What are you waiting for? Create a character and come see what Rylden has to offer. Starborn is a massively multiplayer online strategy game. The goal is to build up your empire, forge alliances with other players, and establish dominance over the map by capturing and holding territory. A single game can take up to three months to complete, and the path to victory isn't always straightforward. So let's start with the basics. You begin the game with a small space station, which you can upgrade by constructing new buildings to increase its area of influence. This costs resources, which you can get from mining nearby hexes, raiding other stations and harvesting solar flares. Every action you do takes real time to complete and the game will keep running even after you go offline. As such, you will want to make sure to get your basic defenses up and running as soon as possible, and the best way to do so is to build up a powerful navy. Some ships are good at attacking, 
whilst others are better suited for defense. As you level up, you will be able to construct new stations to grow your domain. However, space on the map is limited and you will soon have to decide what to do with your neighbors. Will you ally with them and share a border? Or will you destroy them to create more room for yourself? The choice is yours. Starborn also features an expansive skill tree, allowing you to unlock new abilities and specialize your role as the game progresses. Some are saboteurs, gathering vital intelligence and crippling the infrastructure of their enemies before major attacks. Others become industrial powerhouses, supplying their allies with a constant stream of resources and ships. Others join the military arm of their alliance, coordinating and fighting battles on the front line to wipe their enemies off the map while defending their allies against attack. Whichever way you choose, you win and lose as a team. The diplomacy in Starborn is entirely player-driven, and teaming up with the right players can take you far. But if it all goes wrong, you can join a new game at any time, in which former enemies become allies, old friends turn to bitter rivals, and victory is that much closer. See you on the frontier, Commander. I think Bloody Marrow has got a bit of an idea in his head to do something else instead. A going new after Mortal Unicorn, let's keep an amazing. eye on him. Mortal Unicorn not aware of what's going on. Now 100 meters separate these two players. And a Mortal Unicorn inside a cabin. It looks like that upline represented, picked up by the clue. Now we've got the cloak going on. We can see a Mortal Unicorn here creeping up out in the cabin. Shot in the back of the head is no good for him. He's in trouble. There goes the bubble. How did that happen? Looks like somebody from Mixer decided they wanted to mix it up and the fight is going to go on just outside with a mortal unicorn going back and forth, breaking the armor. That bubble is out, he's in trouble! Shot to the chest, knocks him off the cliff and this game is done. Bloody Marrow picking up the victory.